uh, there were protesters at the Tour de France protesting climate control at a bike race. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they got the wrong address. They're supposed to go to a NASCAR event. <laughs> like, damn, bro, I thought you said this was NASCAR. Damn, my bad. I got the things mixed up. Like, we gonna get our protests off. Hey. <laughs> Y'all boys drinking out of plastic bottles, man. Fuck that I, shit. I, I saw... I yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Let me start out. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> That's funny as shit. <laughs> nah, it's weird as hell. We're trying to start. We're trying to do something new. We're trying to give y'all a little title entrance. You probably just saw the shit or heard it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you probably just heard it. We're trying to give y'all a new title um, entrance. So uh, you kind of know what's going on yeah, in the middle and, of the podcast. In the middle of the podcast for y'all and also for newcomers to kind of like get to the point. Yeah. Yeah. If some of y'all missed it too at the end of the last podcast. Um, we did a little song, so go to the last podcast after you're done listening to this. Go to towards the end, and you you hear our little country song. Yeah, we just we working on we in the studio right now working on it, trying to put it out there. Yeah, you know, for all you jesses, we, we hit up Jay Z, say we about to work. Yeah, Jay Z want to work. We'll see if we want to work with Jay Z. We don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know if I want. I don't even know if I want ten million on our dinner with Jay Z because I feel like he got a lot. Nah, no, just yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, fucking w- welcome to Crash Dummies Shout episode. Out welcome to Crash Dummies episode fifty-seven, right? Fifty-seven. Oh, sorry, I was still doing my <laughs> Rock Nation. Uh, yeah, episode fifty-seven. Yeah, on, make sure you go. subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, rate us on Apple Music. Follow us on Spotify. Whatever little things you can do to engage on the other platforms. Is that what that. we gotta do? You gotta be part of Illuminati. To be part of the Illuminati. I want. I just want to see if I put the Illuminati symbol in our uh, podcast, do we blow up? Don't mean I'm in the Illuminati though. I just want to see testing the uh, Illuminati algorithm. You think there's like a real like Illuminati that's like with people like saying, "Hey, you do this." Um, I feel like there was. Yeah. And now the Illuminati has changed their name to something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they're not the Illuminati no- anymore. Probably they're old school. I bet you there was. Like a lot of like anytime you see a movie, to me, not everything, but when you see movies, you see theories and stuff like that, like ninety nine percent of it be true. To it might just be over exaggerated or it could be under exaggerated. Yeah. I feel that. I I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> you don't I, be, you I just, believe that's what I'm saying. Like to me, it's like as far as I'll go as conspiracy is just to believe like what we see is not the total truth as far as just like government wise yeah like, I just I'm, think that people sorry not to interrupt you but no you did though <laughs> you don't hear what people are like I don't mean to interrupt you but <laughs> I'm like nah shut up <laughs> keep your apology and don't interrupt me <laughs> well don't then hey I didn't mean to and then, uh, matter of fact that's some bullshit <laughs> Hey, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're still doing it while yeah. apologizing. <laughs> you are the worst apologizer ever. You mean you well, wait, wait, wait. No, you are the second worst apologizer ever. You know who's first? Who? Will Smith, bro. <laughs> that was the worst apology ever. That was terrible. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad, bro. I'm sorry. If you don't apologize about what you did, you're not sorry. That's like me punching you, right? So mm-hmm. I just punch you right now on a podcast. <laughs> we got to end the podcast. We fight, blah, blah, the camera's off, right? And you like, I need an apology from you. Yeah. And I'm just like, hey, I'm sorry it went down like that. I'm sorry to your mom. You're like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I need you to say what you did, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, what did you do? For me... An apology with three camera angles is kind of crazy to me. <laughs> like, I don't like, I don't want to see the cinematicness of, and I don't want, because you know, camera angles switches are to keep people's attention, right? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, <laughs> just record this shit with your phone, say you're sorry. That man did a whole like interview with himself. And I like, this is what's so, um, you know, a lot of people. I uh, think Chris Rock got his gangster tested. The mm-hmm. thing he's doing now is so gangster, bro. What he knows that he, he really doesn't like Will Smith right now. Mm-hmm. What he knows that if I confront Will Smith, I put myself on his level, then people think like it's a beef and he can work his way back to the spotlight. Mm-hmm. 
if I let him apologize to me and I accept it and try to sit down as men, that lets him back into the spotlight. If I never respond and say, I'll get back to you when I'm ready, means Chris Rock just let the whole world know, I'm not talking to dude. He's still wrong. I still need y'all to be looking at him like he wrong. Yeah. He want he want his pockets to hurt. If I was Will Smith, I would have even included that part. Cause he's the one that said that we wouldn't we'd have we yeah, wouldn't have exactly. known it. We if, wouldn't have known that. We could have been like, oh, maybe they already chopped it up exactly. and they're making money. Cause Chris Rock's on tour right now. Yeah. And he just recently made like a joke about it, but he still won't fully talk about it. And that's it. the that's the good thing, because a lot of people now are going to the show. Maybe maybe this would be the show that he's he make, says something about it in depth. He's making money while Will Smith is not. Like yeah. a lot of people can't forgive Will Smith. And but, like if But you, don't get it wrong. Will Smith still has a lot of money and he's not really hurting. No, he's he not hurting, right. <laughs> he, yeah. he has more money than Chris Rock, too. He just can't, you know what I mean? He probably just can't buy the, the $10 million investment that he was about to get in on. No, That's, he can do all those things. He can. There's you no, think so? You yeah, think he has yeah, that yeah, yeah. much money still? Yeah, Will Smith is is stupid rich. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't get jiggy with it. Yeah. It's still going crazy. No, he's not, he's not hurting at all. From the Fresh Prince, he's yeah. still playing that. But anyway, yeah, don't stop people on stage. I, I didn't really until and then Will Smith, it's like Will Smith definitely hurt himself more with that. Yeah, especially because what people already thought of him about like the way it almost seemed like he was trying to prove a point to the Internet in a sense where my wife is not just controlling me. I'm just not a puppet in this thing because, you know, there was that whole other thing it was that August had seen a thing and this and that. So people Everybody- are looking at Chris. Uh, at Will Smith's face, I'm like that boy going through it and shit. No, it was just like <laughs> the so it bothered people. People were mad it wasn't fake. Mm-hmm. People were so mad it wasn't fake because everybody wanted to be right. That was fake. Remember, that was the whole first thing is it was fake. It was staged. Then when it got real, people like changed their emotion about it. Yeah, people there thought it was fake because they applauded Will Smith to like 20 minutes later. Mm-hmm. Like standing ovation, those people, same people that applauded, left, and said, "I think Will Smith was terrible." Yeah. Why'd you get up and stand up and clap? <laughs> everybody in there fake, and that's why everybody thought it was fake. The real person, another person, he really owed the apology. He did apologize to was um, Quest Love, who was getting an, a lifetime achievement award during that moment. <laughs> fuck no, he don't owe Quest nothing. Why? Who the fuck would have been watching it anyways? I mean, th- but then why no, the Oscars? No, shout out to Questlove. Great, great musician. Congratulations on yeah. the Oscar. But I'm saying the people that that wouldn't. Oh, you're saying the people there. Yeah, I yeah, mean. Yeah, you're right. You're it was right, his right. moment, though. In like, that sense, yeah, you're right. Yeah, like, now I'm trying to celebrate my moment and this happened. He said, I remember Quest eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> what the fuck you looking in that's this face like saying, that, bro, like, with three camera that's angles. That's kind of selfish, too. Like, <laughs> man, I was looking. He put it be in his perspective, like. Nah, Quest, my bad. I was fucked up. Yeah. That's all you had to say. Like, we would have took that be like, and I looked in the Quest eyes and I felt that guilt. I think with these celebrities, too, when they owe people, I'm not going to lie. I really don't care. We're talking about this because we have a podcast. Like, it's not, if if Will Smith didn't give an apology or gave an apology, honestly, it doesn't change anything about my life. I really don't care, right? Mm-hmm. So him apologizing to people, uh, like, it's like they he owes the people in the positive. Like you technically you don't. You're you're your own man. You can make the decision you want to make, good, wrong, or bad. Then you just have to live with it. The thing I didn't like that he said he hates disappointing people, and I'm like, or he hates feeling like he's a disappointment to people. And I'm like, you're always gonna feel like you're freaking Will Smith. You have a hundred million fans around the world. There's gonna be twenty million people that probably doesn't like you for that song you put out twenty years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're always gonna disappoint if you live your life not trying to disappoint people like you're always going to disappoint people it doesn't really matter like stop trying to live for others you made a mistake you live with it f it you're banned from the oscars big whoop like the oscars should be happy about that right if you see the charts of the ratings bro it was like boom 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 when the slap happened through the roof People tuned in because yeah. they wanted to see. No like, one's watching the damn Oscars, and, and everybody wanted to watch their favorite celebrity and see how they were reacting. The rest of the show, just in case something else happened. Yeah. That's where everybody was like, maybe a celebrity is going to say something on stage about it. Maybe somebody, maybe it's going to be more altercation. People put so much like emphasis in the Oscars. Will Smith has won plenty of Oscars now, 
there's it's still gonna be Oscar winner next to his name, whether he doesn't win another Oscar for twenty right. more years. It's not like that's I don't like, know who won the Oscars last it's year. It's like the same <laughs> thing taking the fucking Heisman away from Reggie Bush. Yeah. He's still the Heisman, you <laughs> dumb fucks. He probably it, made a replica of the trophy. Like that's it. He's still there. It's it, it's one of those things where people at least with that one, that one kind of is harder because it's like one Heisman. And then when you people start looking down the history books, they might not see your name, right? Yeah, you gotta be. I mean, like but if you're like if you were a, a first team all conference four years in a row, right? And mm-hmm. he'd be like, that one year y'all cheating, you're still gonna be first team all conference player, Patrick Johnson, right? Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> that's that that's what the big thing is. You have to be electric. Like yeah. Will Smith is electric, and people sometimes debate him as like up there, you know, like obviously I don't think he's on Denzel's level. Yeah. But you see like some of the comparisons, and that's like as good as a compliment you're gonna get. Yeah. The best actor of all time, and people are like saying, Oh, have you caught him? Have you done anything? Is Will Smith on his level? Like, that's great. The same thing with Reggie Bush, he's so spectacular is that Reggie Bush is technically bigger than the Heisman trophy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, just as a memory. Like, obviously, the Heisman's been around a lot longer, has more history, but Reggie Bush as a whole of what he did to college football was forever lived on. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, like, even his NFL career, people really don't care as much that he didn't do, go crazy mm-hmm. because college was just, like, such a big memory. It's just, like, those people got that it factor, so it makes you forget about everything. Yeah. yeah. So they can. Imagine if, I don't even know, like, imagine imagine if Questlove did what Will Smith did. <clears throat> And Quest Love is pretty big. Yeah. Like he needs, not saying like some some of these people need an Oscar to kind of not stay relevant, but like it's a great marketing tool. It that's that's all it is. Especially, and it's not even to us. Like, I don't care if somebody's a Oscar winner. Yeah. If they can act, if they make a good movie. It's like it gets you those placements though. It gets you on Good Morning America. It yeah. gets you on, you know, different playlists and this and that, different in front of the right people to push you into the bigger, you know, into us, to the 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 crowd, right? The, yeah. To make them better known. Did Get Out win a lot of stuff? Get Out? Yeah. Um. Honestly, I don't know. That's why I'm saying I don't know how important the the Oscars is. But I, I think I, I think it wants something because every other movie I that he like put out was. I feel like it's important for directors. <laughs> yeah. I feel like definitely directors because how many times like I, you probably don't do it, but like I get geeked up like it's an advertisement if. Steven Spielberg's involved. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's an advertisement, just as much as them directing this. Yeah, if not more. It's just like, damn, this directed Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, like, I forgot that dude, um, something X that used to produce all the music. Oh, videos. Director X. Director X. Yeah, yeah. And if like he <laughs> directed the video, like you knew it was like a hidden message in there or something. Cole like, Bennett. You Cole see Bennett. Him? When Cole Bennett, like Cole Bennett, was getting a lot of people views. Like at first, it he just was did the 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 one with the the one I sent you, the Central C one. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. UK, he did. That was the first UK artist. Now it's one of the bigger videos. It's crazy, bro. Bar. He had bars in that one too. Yeah, I mean, he went crazy. It's the talent <laughs> with the talent. Like <laughs> y'all gotta look up. Y'all gotta look up a, a Central C Doja Cat. That boy said, "How can I be homophobic? My just gay." Well, he said, "What would he say? Hit man in the head top." Now he topless. Even my stick is gay. That's terrible. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> that shit trash. No, that's t- tough. But yeah, in UK, <laughs> like he said that shit. It's in, funny. It's funny. And he, if he said that shit in American accent, yeah, he would have said it different. Because I, I feel like with that, with the UK accent, you, they got a different style of talking. Yeah, I he, get that. I feel like if that was, if American, they would have put that differently in a, like a battle rap bar. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. <laughs> they would have put it in our sense, but for UK sense, that's yeah. a good flow of words. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, you, it's still ass. <laughs> uh, you know they proposed a, dra- a trade for Brittany Griner. Oh, for a, ar- a Russian arms dealer. I'm not gonna like free Brittany. Does that seem like a fair trade to you? The dude's name is the Merchant <laughs> of Death, and Brittany Griner is in jail for weed hash oil like hash no nah, britney griner definitely important to america no but you know the trade now is no i'm not saying it's important to america but there's people here they're in jail for weed <laughs> there's literally people in jail here for weed <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to stay on your side no 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 I, I, that's why i'm saying i gotta like you have to preface it by like obviously yeah, you gotta tread lightly you know yeah, what I mean? i'm not I, but the thing is it's it's again it's, it's our platform so i'm gonna say what i want to say what i think but still the Merchant of Death for Brittany Griner? 
Yeah, I'm taking Britney. No, 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 I'm saying the trade, but no, there's an, another American that's with them that's, that might come back with her. So I know he's happy because he was a spy yeah. in uh, Russia. But it was one of those things where it's like, it's just crazy. The I'm not saying like Britney's not worth the merchant of death. If it's the 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 level of crime is crazy. Like the dude was a arms dealer for Russia, mm-hmm. and his name is the Merchant of Death. Maybe that's what the big de- <laughs> maybe that's what the big debate about. I yeah. wonder who the other guy is. He's because a, he's he's supposedly was a spy, but he was a spy. No, not the guy she's getting traded for. It's another American. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, he was a spy. Oh, he was a spy and yeah. got caught in Russia. Yeah. That's who they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany's like, wait. She just said, like, who was you? Yeah. You a spy? Who we all he been, bro, he been in prison there since 2018, and he's serving like a 16-year ser- uh, sentence. Oh, my God. So he's probably ecstatic that oh. she got caught. It, when he saw her ass walk through the hallway, he said, <laughs> oh, shit, we going home. What if this was all planned? That's crazy. <laughs> Cause obviously the spy, the dude, we don't even. I can't even know. I, I heard his name, but I don't know his name. You know, I just watched. What? If this is all planned, right? All serious shit happened. Yeah. There's one very comedic part, and I know, like, they're in a meeting. You know, meeting style. Like, we need to get you know our spy back. What celebrity can we get caught in Russia? And somebody was like, hey, Brittany Griner. Like, <laughs> shit random as hell. Like, so random. Hey. They said they warned her that she received, she said she received the warning from America not to go there. Like, there was a travel advisory type of thing that's oh, not safe. Watch, oh, then they, but she, she still go? wants to go to help her team out and stuff like that. Stupid. Right? It's not. That's probably looking for anything, bro. I, I've always t- told, even like if I go to Nigeria, I don't do nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those things where you just got to be more careful when you go to these countries. Like in Dubai, there's certain places you can kind of wear, you can wear like, you know, re- more revealing clothes. Mm-hmm. clothes. And there's some places you have to wear, you have to be fully covered. It's just like every place has their, I'm not going to say I wonder, that. I wonder if that's why she played guilty. Yeah, she did because she wasn't. To, like make, it, to make it look like, because I feel like Russians would take that very offensively. Because their courts are different. It's not like our court, like, where even if you damn near did the shit, you yeah. should plead innocence because there's a way you can get over with it. Like and it Russia just takes was, longer. Russia is like, you did it. Now let's see, like, do you got integrity? Yeah. I feel like they're more like, and I'm she, not saying we're and, not integrity. And but. it's like she did it. Like, she had whatever the illegal substance she wasn't supposed to have. Like, she, that's, right, she and did that's it. what she's charged with. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel like this was America. Yeah. You plead, like, not guilty and be like, somebody put that in my bag and they yeah. got a good lawyer or something. Yeah. Like it, free, re- free Britney, but it was yeah, one, one one funny thing though, just because it's it was kind of funny. They said if you put if you put the trade into that little two K uh trade simulator, that it wouldn't go through. Oh, for them? Yeah. Oh, because they're losing. Right? No, <laughs> no, they're getting they're getting a dude called the Merchant of Death. Bro, we getting a spy back. They and we are getting a spy. What, they don't tell them what that spy did. Yeah. The, we're letting we're the news people that are saying he's a merchant of death that's his nickname correct we're but we're the platform that's putting it yeah. out the usa news mm-hmm. <laughs> they bro the news is not gonna put nothing that the government doesn't yeah. want out there you know what else people and they'll tell them our spy could be like our merchant of death yeah why the hell are they taking a trade <laughs> yeah true another thing i don't like when people say if it was lebron over there he would have been back they probably would have kept him even they probably would have left him over there even more no mm Bro, they going to get Bron Bron. <laughs> nah. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm saying not that they're not going to go get him. No, it would have been way quicker. That, Le- that Russia would have that. It would like, been way quicker. We have their most powerful person. We have your most powerful person, like your highest right. athlete. They would have got, it would have definitely been a trade, but it would have happened a lot quicker. They would have get we. They would have been the merchant at five merchant of deaths. Yeah, it would have been all five. <laughs> been the five no heartbeats. <laughs> yeah. Merchant been out of death, and they'd be like, "Hey, we throw in Trump too, man." <laughs> Anything y'all want? <laughs> like, damn. Oh man, that'd be a big ass trade. That's crazy that LeBron's trade value in the NBA and in the world is the same. Yeah. Like you got to throw the whole house. Gotta give up. Hey, Russia, like, y'all want Brian back? Five first rounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we want y'all future first rounds. Yeah. <laughs> give Brown. me y'all. We, we sending over our best soldier. Like, yeah. damn. Brian worth two soldiers and a sergeant. That would be too crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. We got to get it done. Bring Brian back home, though. I saw a clip of um, Terrell Owens playing basketball against somebody, and the guy threw the ball off his head, like, off the heezy. Yeah. 
and he didn't do obviously it was just a game and stuff like that but that made me think about like the off the easy move is a very disrespectful move and like i haven't seen like if somebody did it to you is it game over like the, the end of the basketball game bro that's, it, it's over with or is it depending on the setting it, obviously if i got a bag uh-huh. you know i know he just that's the thing it's kind of like it, that reminds me of battle rap mm-hmm. it's just like Depending on like the like to see battle rappers fight is kind of rare. You yeah. think they will fight a lot more because mm-hmm. like they're so aggressive, but they lose their money. Yeah. So it's like if you got forty, if you got forty thousand for this battle, which you know some of the top battlers get, you know they get forty, fifty, sixty, and they only get like a twenty, like twenty percent. Like their back end is way bigger. Yeah. And they might not get their back end. Imagine like, oh, I got sixty thousand dollars, but I got mad, so I punched a dude. And I only get twenty thousand dollars, and I gotta do the battle for free if I hit the dude. So I gotta do a battle for free, so I gotta perform again, and then also I'm gonna be canceled out depending on who I hit for a while. Yeah. Like even though like it's so popular and it brings um, a lot of attention to the battle, um, Smack still punishes for it. Mm-hmm. So it just be like that. Yeah, but I think twenty twenty two, bro, we shouldn't be throwing the ball off nobody's head. It'd be, bro, it, it's a, it's it's about the, again. It's about the setting. Like if I know I'm like recording for my YouTube channel, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do it back to him, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if it's like we at the park, bro, this three on three, I'm yeah. about to beat your ass. <laughs> like, bro, I got a one time one dude that did that to me. When I was a kid and I had like a a nice little like knot. It wasn't even like on my forehead. It was literally like on my nose area. Oh man. So like, bro, if you're going to do it, like we was talking about off the easy, right? Yeah, yeah, off uh, the easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But like he's going he's going to put a ball on my head like at least <laughs> no, no, I did that on purpose. <laughs> he's going to give me the off the easy. Like at least like make it right here, but no, 2022 like that shit. No, nah, that shit dead. That shit dead. We shouldn't be doing. No, nah, not no off the easy. Unless you can fight. Right, you might as well punch the dude. Uh, yeah, if that's the case. That's what I'm saying. You no, know, off the easy, somebody. You think I'm gonna let you do a step back after that? And you know, like I'm gonna step, especially on your with back. like a big brolic dude. And you know, like isn't, there's no like finesse to do it. Like they freaking bouncing that shit off your head because nah. you know you can't do a soft one because it's not gonna go nowhere. It's gonna be a steal. So you gotta actually put some spin to it. But yeah, I saw Terrell. That that I saw that dude do it to Terrell. And Terrell like, Owens didn't do anything. And he just was playing defense like a football player. Nah, I would have. That's when somebody off the easy you, you act like it worked, and you let them drive, and you crush their ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Good shit. Go to the rack then. Yeah. <laughs> About to push you into oblivion, my boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> weird, weird uh, fact. According to a study, people who often nap have a greater chance of developing high blood pressure and having a stroke. Damn. <laughs> I told y'all stop napping. <laughs> I don't take naps. That's a crazy I, I always it's always funny when I see a study a study says yeah. and then never say the study. I, I feel like I feel like it's a person out there because it's always a study for some shit that oh we thought remember like at first cracking knuckles gave people arthritis. Yeah. Like Bro, it's just one hating ass dude out here. Like, man, how can I fuck with these boys Bro, today? It's crazy how information could just be like. It's just hey. like again, it's like the ball sack sports thing where you can make you dress up the information in a really nice graphic. Yeah, and you put it there, and it's like boom, man. Because it didn't used to be like that. Yeah, it used to be the only people who really have access to the internet and big stuff like and, this. And print was just like big. And companies. print was the big company, so, yeah. and they wouldn't put. Well, they would put out. If they did put out false information, it was really, really hidden. Yeah. But other than that, it was true. Yeah. Even if it was false, at least everybody believed the Bro, false people thing. can have, like, fake news <laughs> articles now. Like. Mm-hmm. Everybody has. You can own your own news station, technically. Technically? Yeah. yeah. So we can tell y'all a lie right Crash now, news. Bro. We can literally come up with a print. Crash dummy news and just tell you guys the most wild thing. Just wild ass shit. Like I just told you guys taking naps might give you a stroke. Like what what lifestyle changes are you? That's <laughs> you what have I to wanna make? know. Like, damn. Damn, I can't take a nap. <laughs> you tired and shit. Like, hey bro. <laughs> you see your friend t- about to take a nap. You like, hey bro, no, bro, 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 chill, 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 chill. Don't, don't do nap, it. bro. Don't do it. <laughs> you know they getting the, they getting heart attacks out here because of that now. When your ass slip into a deep sleep, don't say nothing. <laughs> You see your biggest haters napping and shit. <laughs> that would be wild as hell. You, you, if every time you took a nap, it was like, 
if it wasn't a certain time frame yeah. that you could slip into a coma, you'd be tired as hell. Like, <laughs> hey, you'd be calling like, hey, y'all get over here. Yeah. You I'm see, sleepy. You see your, like, your arch nemesis taking a nap and you're like, damn, I got to make that boy feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Play some music, some little nice peaceful music. <laughs> hey, bro, you need a nap? You need a, a, a blanket or something? That'd be crazy because like attempted murder, he would just, <laughs> hey, he put NyQuil in that. <laughs> <laughs> he put NyQuil in his drink? <laughs> oh, yeah, he definitely tried to kill my boy. <laughs> I'm about to slide on him. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Every time I uh, I hear that type of stuff now, I always think of um, Snowfall. I just started watching Snowfall, y'all. He late as hell. Am I that late? When did season one come out? Long time ago. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I like it though because now I have a whole bunch of things to yeah, watch. I'm nice. on season four now. I like doing that to shows. I yeah. try not to. I I might watch a show when the whole season's out and be like, damn. I yeah. wish there was like another season right away, but. That watching shit on as episodes come out a week, nah, you're yeah, about no. to fuck with me yeah. like that. I'm the dude. <laughs> the cliffhanger at the end, hey, you gotta wait a whole week. <laughs> hey, if you tried to get a, if your shit say part one, you just lost a view. Yeah. To me. Yeah. If you trick me like that, where I'm like, damn, because sometimes it'll be like a movie clip and yeah. I just wanna reminisce. And I'm like, oh, I, I remember this movie. And then I see a part one and I see, damn, my favorite part can't come up that quick. You're trying to get me to a part two. It's raps. Yeah. I'm a YouTube you <laughs> Thanks for the rap. Thanks, remi <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I'm not going to look it up on YouTube. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to talk part one. Like, bro, just take the views. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> a North Carolina Chick fil A receives backlash after trying to recruit volunteers to work and pay them in food. I saw that. It said uh, five sandwiches an hour. Yeah, five entrees <laughs> per shift. They better be hiring. I, the only way I would like accept that, it better not be, it got to be somebody you would never hire. <laughs> like, hey, we would never hire you in any other situation, so yeah. we're going to pay you in sandwiches, which would mean like that gives a person who's homeless and can't get a job to volunteer <laughs> and get five chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Bro, pay somebody in food is crazy in 2022. I'm saying if it's somebody, if it's somebody that deserves a job, like hell no, that's your bogus. But if it's somebody that's homeless, no, nah, that's not because you're willing to hire them either way. No, 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 no. You wouldn't hire them. You they're volunteering. <laughs> like, go oh, wash your hands, my dog, and put this <laughs> and put this chicken on this bun. <laughs> That's wild as fuck. You oh got it like my God. who should be offended are the employees. How wild would it feel if you were working, right? Mm -hmm. And your boss came in and said, Hey, I got some people that's about to help y'all at work and do the same thing you do. <laughs> and I'm only paying them chicken sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you making $16, $17 an hour, and the dude that you hand in the chicken sandwich to is making a chicken sandwich. <laughs> You hand it to him like, hey, who ordered this? This is my check. Five my entrees, shit. five entrees per shift. Nah, don't scam over that. <laughs> That's wild as hell. Bro. But I, I, the reason I, I because no, no, I would, no, no. I would want somebody to do that. Like I don't, it doesn't matter. I don't care how much the next person is getting paid. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> it, somebody walking with five chicken sandwiches, they like, hey, bro, uh, what table that's going to? Be like, bro, this is my check. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy, bro. Hey. I would be like, oh, what? Five hey, chicken sandwiches? Who's you, eating five chicken sandwiches in a shift? You know what's crazy? No, the I really think it's like a homeless thing. It has to be. And somebody twisted the story. There's no way nah. these are regular people. No, nah, they put it out there, bro. And they no, deleted, they deleted a, a Facebook post. It's literally just the franchise that did it, not Chick-fil-A as a corporation. It has to be somebody. I feel like people twisted their words and it was for a home, no, the homeless. Th their post said, we are looking for volunteers for our new drive through express earn five free entrees per shift parentheses one hour worked message us for details maybe no maybe they're they're still paying the people we are looking for volunteers for our new oh, drive through damn. express <laughs> earn five free entrees per shift for one hour worked i would say entree they don't say just chicken sound yeah entree. oh you can get the most <laughs> <laughs> you know what you could do? It's only one hour too, though. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Think about it. One That's hour exactly. If you don't have to go for more than an hour <laughs> for five chicken sandwiches, no, five entrees. Entrees. So you can make a meal. It's not like you just got to get the chicken sandwiches and five 
It's what you got to do, though. Three or four other people to give it to. Resell the chicken sandwiches? No, in line, because you're already going to be working that the drive through wow. Hey, who need a spicy chicken? <laughs> Across the street at a lemonade stand with all your spicy chicken. Like, hey, what they, three ninety nine? My shit, two ninety nine. <laughs> Low ball in their yeah. ass. <laughs> but still, you make it like, I don't... But I, I, I get not worth it either. If it's for one hour, would you rather take the... Because you still working free for an hour because you got to go sell the other chicken sandwich. That'd probably take you an hour. But would you rather work for eleven dollars for that hour, or five free entrees? That's worth more than that. That's crazy, right? Because you're gonna spend eleven dollars. <laughs> you can just do that shit at lunch. <laughs> yeah. You get literally like, but you still you gotta have an hour and a half of lunch. You gotta work the first hour to get your food. <laughs> then hurry up. Working an hour is crazy. Too. <laughs> like in between jobs too. That'd be wild. An hour shift. <laughs> <laughs> an hour shift, boy. Like, hey, Pat, we're gonna need you to come in today for an hour. <laughs> be wild, like y'all use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> like, oh, shit, I've been in there forty five minutes. Yeah, I definitely turn an hour shift into a, a twenty minute, fifteen minute what? shift. Easy. <laughs> my shit, my whole routine. I won't start. <laughs> I'm gonna come in with all my coats on. Like, hold on. <laughs> I had to take Bro, off my coat. You know what I used to do at my old job? Because I used to show up super early to. Because it was my job was like. They don't care what time you start. It's just get in, get and whatever time, just stay 80 hours. So I'll get there at 7, right? So I get to my old job at 7 o'clock. I would go to the maternity room. They had a whole bunch of bean bags everywhere. So I stack them in the maternity room, and I still catch up on sleep until like 9 o'clock till people came in. <laughs> but I brought my laptop in there, so it seemed like I was doing work. And that was like the finesse. That's smart. <laughs> and you know, nobody's not gonna nobody not, when they see the maternity room closed, they don't they're not gonna so go. So you into would just it. do that so you woke up at work. Yeah, so I kind of was well rested at work. <laughs> I, I <ain't> gonna lie. <laughs> That's some bummy shit. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how young you was. That's some bummy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild as fuck. Yeah. It's smart because obviously, like at that age, as guys, we do bummy shit. Yeah. And that's some bummy shit. Like that's some shit that how? I would do. I was just well rested. No, no, no. I wasn't even like no deep sleep either. It was just like you know that. Like a morning nap. It was just like when you wake up in the nah. morning, you're awake at like five o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're yeah. not really awake till like eight, eight, right. nine. That's some bummy shit though. To How? wake up and like already be in the spot you about to work at, bro. Yeah, I go in there my, my work you, clothes though. Hey, if you overslept, you were fucked. Nobody's gonna come into the maternity room though if it's closed. Oh, it's closed locked. all day? Yeah, it's closed. Nobody oh, closed and we had off. And we had no one that was like So uh, you were still sleeping at work though. We had That's no the name one. of this podcast, sleeping at work. That's perfect. No, I wasn't sleeping. I was I was, no, was resting my eyes. No, that boy was long, taking a whole nap. Long blinks. <laughs> long blinks. It's, it, you come in like, damn, why is lotion everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> in the maternity room, you're definitely going to jail. The, per the person that actually needs the room, the pregnant person, going there like, hey, we just had a full bottle of lotion in here <laughs> the other <laughs> week. Yeah, I was just going to tell y'all y'all out. <laughs> Shit ain't that good, man. <laughs> Shit dry up real quick. <laughs> so the lottery was uh, $1 billion, and people were going to a frenzy playing the lottery. One thing that happened, though, was... <laughs> you said it like we didn't buy tickets. I bought... People were going to frenzy. I'm part of people. Yeah, me too. I'm people. That was my first time ever buying a I lottery I bought one ticket. ticket, though. That was great marketing by them. Yeah. I bought five. They got me. I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> they tricked me. But... Pick your own numbers, by the way. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> Pick but, your own numbers. But people were, people were getting mad at celebrities for buying lottery tickets and buying a lot of them, saying, y'all rich already. You don't need it. Like... What a that's, billion dollars! That's wild to that's wild to buy lottery tickets and you're that rich. Why is it wild? No, I don't think it's. I don't think they're wrong. I'm just thinking like I never even thought about that concept. It's just crazy that the lottery is so uh, different that we don't even. I don't know if that works for them. What? It might. I never thought about that. What? People with a lot of money probably do play the lottery a no, lot. No, they bro. do. They were. And they probably win a lot too. It's no that 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 that's never that's never been uh like the most past You don't know that. No, it's it because when I was reading up on this and seeing that and just see oh let me see the past lottery winners, none of them were like almost none of them were like wealthy people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying like um yeah, the bigger one. But they were getting mad at like DJ Khaled, DDG, like DDG. Good artist, he probably would never be a billionaire, right? 
there's a lot of people that probably never be a billionaire. Uh -huh. So if there's a chance to win a free billion dollars, <laughs> then you can't get mad at people trying to play the game that you're playing. I, t to me, I feel like they know exactly who's going to win. The lottery? Yes. They pick the numbers live on TV. Why does every everywhere that you everywhere that you buy the lottery ticket? Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is has a camera. Yeah. Correct. They know exactly who has a lottery ticket. They don't know the numbers until you they literally perform the numbers live on TV. Yes, bro, that's a machine. And it's not it's a it's, a, it's not the, that's All they got to do is put magnets where they want them, bro. No, 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 no. This Oh my god. <laughs> this bro, is, you really think it's just like some random thing? It's a a machine with balls in it. Yes, bro. And they roll it and yes, you pick your head. You had you put your hand in the bro, thing and pick a know, ball. Bro, bro. Have you ever seen a movie where the dude <laughs> oh literally god. knows what ball it is? This nigga needs a, a aluminum hat. For real. <laughs> you know, it's not bro. everything is not a conspiracy theory. Not a conspiracy you don't think they know who's gonna win the lottery? No, they don't. That's the point That's of it. That's crazy, bro. They're, they literally got a camera. They can literally, you have to buy it in cash. But like, they don't know the numbers until they release it that night. Yes, they do, bro. How? Because they can just tell the dude to pick up which ball, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're dumb, bro. How I'm dumb for not believing the dumb conspiracy theory. Nah, you don't think that's so dumb that why, you what, think what, they control the numbers? What proof do you have and why would they have to do this? When the chances to win a lottery is one in 300 million, what, what, why would they have to cheat the system? Because we got over a billion people on Earth. On Earth. In America. This is America. So? How many people in America? You're more likely to get oh, struck by... How many people by... in America, bro? <laughs> 200 million? How many people in this world? <laughs> 200, 300? 200 million? That's my guess. <laughs> you, started to, you started to get less and less confident. I said 200, 300 million? 329. 300, yeah. 0. 0.5. Yep. But you're saying <laughs> from, no, 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 no. You're saying it's, but they saying people though. That's dumb. And then you gotta narrow that number to people think, that actually play the lottery. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're saying people. They're not talking about tickets. One in three hundred million chance. That's for you, each ticket. Yes, for each ticket. So people can buy multiple tickets. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, nobody. So you don't no, think three, no. over three hundred million tickets don't get? No, <laughs> that's why one person probably wins. Nah, it was skipping <laughs> days, huh? So it was days people didn't win. Exactly, because no, the that's odds. That's not real. <laughs> somebody should win every day if that's the case. If that many people are playing a lottery, somebody should win every day. That's not the case. It should it, never go this 300 long. Million that's how people, you know it's rigged. Oh, my gosh. 300 people are not playing the lottery. Yeah. Everybody in the United States is not playing the lottery. Correct. <laughs> so Would you say 100 million are? No. Yes. No. Would you say 50 million are? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if. One in one. What if what if fifty million? I'm, my math's already like wrong. No, what if what if what if what if Bruh. fifty million people bought ten tickets? There's still a chance. It's still what one. What if fifty in. million people bought ten tickets? What's fifty million times ten? I don't know. I don't want to think about that. I think that. it's five hundred million. Okay. Right. What? How, what's in the chance that you win? <laughs> There's still not the there's still that chance of you not winning even nah, with the numbers. Nah, it should be done every time. There's <laughs> oh, I bet you there's over three hundred and whatever chances you said. I bet you it's over that number in tickets oh, bought. So if that's the odds, <laughs> then that shit should happen every time. All right, bro, you got or it's it, bro. Rigged. They <laughs> wanted to get to a billion because they got a bunch of extra money, and then they make you pay them back in taxes the money, bro. <laughs> it's, that's the way the so, America works. Yeah. So you don't think they can control that? <laughs> they got more money, bro. Bro, oh, listen, listen, listen. Oh my god, bro, we but got I, a podcast no, to get to. My last conspiracy theory <laughs> is <laughs> the lottery went up that high because they put the gas prices down. <laughs> like, oh shit, well, we gonna need that right back, my boy. <laughs> oh man. So we just paid for our own gas. <laughs> They just got all y'all to chip in ten dollars. How y'all think they get us to pay for stuff? Mike's stupid, man. <laughs> Shout out to my yes, sir. <laughs> Third just, eye open. This man just wasted ten minutes of y'all lives. No, I didn't. <laughs> audio listeners jump his ass. I'm on y'all side. Who audio listen? They not even listening yet. They gonna snuff you. <laughs> they not. They not even up yet. My audio listeners get up at noon.
<laughs> <laughs> no, they listened to it earlier. They get up at noon till their mama's cooking. No. Nah. <laughs> they they be up at 4 a.m. when this Ma, drops. Mom, them cinnamon rolls? Oh, you're showing out today. <laughs> they be up at 4, 4 a.m. when this drops. Please get a job, Harold. <laughs> 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 now, shout out to the audio listeners, except the four that was talking crazy this weekend. Y'all all looks, nah, never mind. <laughs> oh, another crazy news. Uh, there were protesters at the Tour de France protesting climate control at a bike race. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they got the wrong address. They're supposed to go to a NASCAR event. They're like, damn, bro, I thought you said this was NASCAR. Damn, my bad. I got the things mixed up. Like, we gonna get our protests off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all boys drinking out of plastic bottles, man. Fuck that I, shit. I, I saw I, the funny thing is that the the TikTok that I saw when he was explaining it, the dude said the same thing. What plastic the, bottles? No, the NASCAR race that <laughs> they should have protested at a NASCAR. <laughs> right, go to where there's cars. At. Somebody said they had flare guns at there. They were causing more uh, <laughs> more pollution, more than, pollution than, than just than riding the bike. bikes, bro. <laughs> the most. The most environmentally friendly activity, <laughs> bike racing. You're protesting climate control. Man, <laughs> <laughs> and they probably drove their cars there. <laughs> you cause more damage coming to this race <laughs> to, to to the climate than, than these people are riding their bikes, bro. <laughs> That's why I always found it funny when people only protest. People like, oh. Why are they coming to other neighborhoods and protesting? Like, bro, why would they protest in their own neighborhood? <laughs> so everybody can be like, yep, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be seen and we want to be disagreed with. Why are we going to sit there and go to an all black neighborhood and be like, hey, black lives matter? Get the fuck out of my way. I know. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you protesting over here, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Take your ass to the suburbs. <laughs> Why are you protesting on Martin Luther King for, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Take your ass to Hampton Drive. No, that's crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Take your ass up to Lake Drive <laughs> and protest. <laughs> protesting. Oh. <laughs> on 50th and Cap. <laughs> All right, I got a would you rather for you. All right. <laughs> would you rather have a flying broomstick or a flying uh, carpet? Hmm, definitely a carpet. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about that. That's wild. That's a wild ass concept. Hey. <laughs> I just got her. I don't care, like, what your pr preference is. I believe everybody should love everybody, love who you want. Yeah. Gay, straight, whatever. But, like, any male riding a broomstick <laughs> is wild, bro. You got something in between there. Yeah. You got to put your shit to one side of the broom. You know, I, I thought about that too. You got too. your balls to the left or right. <laughs> You gotta put your balls on one side of the broom, real. <laughs> or like let them rest on the wood part. <laughs> or you can't put too much weight on it, so you really, you really like floating on it. That boy, right? <laughs> Somebody catch that boy you. flying the broom like this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta balance. Your hand. Hey, it's midnight. You see a dude flying the broom like this way in his booty, like. <laughs> You gotta sit sideways and hey. shit. <laughs> you gotta sit sideways on the broom. I get freaky at the night, man. <laughs> nah, I knew I knew riding a broom was not a good idea. <laughs> when remember when those little horses they had when you were kids? They were on the broom. When you you ever do like a play and you have to ride a horse? Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, do it so. <laughs> that boy said, "Save a horse, ride a cowboy." Go ahead. Bro, we were both for horses too. Chill. And you rode another human being. No, somebody rode you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, nobody rode me. <laughs> no, somebody rode that you. That was Yaffe. No. No, no. Oh, no, no, no yes, that was Yaffe. You are tweaking <laughs> that. <laughs> Again, you, if you knew me and Mike, we were horses in the play in an all-white town. <laughs> <laughs> Mike let the shit go down. <laughs> The I joined because, coming in like, oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, I joined because of you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was in that play because of you. Yeah, he ain't tell me what the part was. <laughs> you like, you like, hey, Pat called me. He's like, hey, bro, you trying to get an easy credit? I was like, for sure. He's like, right, you just have to be part of this play. <laughs> Pat was in the play. Hey. <laughs> Pat was in the play before this. Really cool play. Normal play. You know, about a, a, he was a whatever you were. You're a normal person, right? So I'm like, oh, it's just I was, no. It was like a, it was like a 
a a deal yeah. that I had to strike with him because he wanted me you had to be in two plays to get like this special deal that he got like on credits and mm-hmm. I need I was like I need I need these credits. Yeah. I I started in one play and I had to just <laughs> help out wherever he needed. And once I started reading the script, I said, Oh man, I was going to everybody. I'm like, if he make me a horse, I quit, bro. Bro, we I know we talked about it, but this is crazy that we were horses for one credit. Nah, you got one credit. One credit, I was a horse, bro. You got one credit. Though. For one credit? Yeah, I was actually in the in the in the acting class. No, nah, they should that definitely that shit. We were there, bro. We had no lines. No, nothing at all. But we have to be there the longest. <laughs> we were there every scene. And I... Nay, it, it no parts. It, <laughs> wouldn't, it wouldn't even be bad, right? It was more of like artistic horses because we were like in these gray sweatsuits. Not sweatsuits. Uh, spandex. Spandex. <laughs> gray spandex. Boy, you can't eat. I mean, it was easy being hard on stage. It's like, oh, that boy, a horse. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, they had the they had us on these hooves, but the hooves were like the what? I think they call them. <laughs> the hooves. The hooves. <laughs> that <was> so good. <laughs> the hooves, cuz. Uh, I had them. I had them uh, horseshoes on, cuz. And uh, no, for real, I had the horseshoes on, yeah. but there was like. They had to be like four feet off the ground. Reverse heels, pretty much. Reverse heels, so you can't go backwards or you fall. <laughs> yeah. Which leads me to the last part. Our last night, so you got to you got to go three days in a row. So our last night, uh, Mike fell on the final scene. Yeah. <laughs> and we all had to step over him <laughs> while name to keep the scene going. And we thought the director was gonna be mad as hell. He's like, I don't know what you guys did, but it looked real. Yeah. It's like it sure was real. But we were a fake name back there, <laughs> just be, be funny. <laughs> and they were yeah. taking it. They were I taking think on the serious. last night, you, that's why you failed. Yeah. But you made everybody laugh. <laughs> We was going off the stage, and we was all supposed to be naying, and it's always been like, we always joked in rehearsal, like, we never neighed in rehearsal. Yeah. Like, we always said some bullshit. We'd be like, arf, 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 yeah. like, dog, like, barking and shit. <laughs> so, Mike, we never did that on stage because we were scared. We were like, we don't get in trouble. We don't want to lose our credit. So, on the way out, Mike was like, uh, and I was like, oh, man, like, everybody just started dying laughing. I was like, man. Bro, thinking this- back that on that thing, remember they gave us the, the, the shit, the shit theme cake? Oh, at the at the party. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to put pictures of these up on because I have I do have these pictures, but yeah, it wasn't just for us though. <laughs> it's still crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> we had a cake that was resembled shit, bro. That and, is crazy. And me and Pat are laughing hard as hell in this picture, <laughs> like with some hoodies on. Bro, we did not know what the hell was going on back then. It was crazy, good times, but damn, for one credit, I was a freaking horse. Crazy never, though, never bro. again, <laughs> never again. Uh, <laughs> did you see the the <laughs> the clause that was in Kyler Murray's contract? Yeah, that they he took, had to do uh, four hours of studying. Yeah, a film and a they film. T- they took it out though, but that's kind why of why was it ever in there? Because I saw, <laughs> I saw, um, I saw his. Uh, I don't know. My pants got so high. I saw his uh, interview after, and he was just like saying all his accolades. Yeah, he's like, you know, I went forty three and zero in high school. Not to brag on high school, but nobody's ever done that. Uh, I won the Heisman and went to a college playoff. Nobody's done that. And I'm a two time Pro Bowler and whatever else in Rookie of the Year, and nobody's ever done that. I mean, not nobody's ever done that, but he's just yeah. saying his accolades, and and he's basically basically saying if you saying that I need four hours of study a week. A week, you're basically disrespecting everybody in the NFL that they can't crush some five seven dude that doesn't that that doesn't watch film because if that's what you're assuming. Yeah. You're disrespecting the league. Obviously you're disrespecting him. And it was just like weird, which brings me like to the case of like it's the same thing like with Zion. You just be like, bro, I don't need no clause to say I gotta watch my weight. No, like, he might need one. No, 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 no. You signing me or not. Or we not signing that shit. <laughs> no, but that's the clause. I like, wouldn't sign that we, shit. Then that's their problem not to sign All it. All right, cool. That's crazy. If you're going to show up 290 and you're we're supposed to play games and these, these your weight is starting to contribute to your injuries and you not being on the court, yes, we want you to lose weight and be at this weight for us to keep you. Nah, I would say, I guess it's, I guess it's the same thing because I would only say, like, I guess it's just a fine. Like, you can find me, but I guess the same thing if they just say they can reduce it. 
I would want to find like I would want a, a set price. I wouldn't want like so, I hope it's a set price. I'm mm-hmm. guessing they did that. I wouldn't want like oh we're able to reduce like your guarantee. Like yeah, the clause makes sense for Zion to me, not for uh, Kylie. Because, what I tell that yeah because when you think we're all football players, right? And yeah. Just people that don't know four hours a week a week of film for a quarterback is low. <laughs> for anybody is low. Like that's low, especially for a quarterback. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch four hours of film a week when I was a receiver. It was only. I'm worried about the person in front of me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's but I probably but, watched like probably did I probably did like two, three hours of like four hours of like team film, like the ones we had to go with. Yeah. So like you're telling that. No, dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> How much film did you watch of camp when you're in NFL? A lot. I bet you will almost watch more film there than you did your yeah. whole career at college. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's the NFL. <laughs> Just them off set, like mm-hmm. Like he doesn't. The quarterback is crazy. Yeah. They probably do that in a day. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're saying I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> it, maybe it was like a rumor. It had to be a rumor that he had to go like justify or something. I think the the excuse they were giving was that those are already kind of in the contract already, like in fine print or some shit. Like, oh right, it's like their standard one. Yeah, something so, like, like that. So like you can't like just in case you ever like just like. I'm not doing nothing extra, and mm-hmm. nobody sees you ever working hard. Like, we want our quarterback to work hard. Yeah. And it's kind of like... When, it's dumb they took it out, though. Like, just leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> that were, I mean, most of those organizations have been run by the same people at least for, like, 20 years of mm-hmm. no changing. NFL is, like, really stagnant. And, like, you see all these people that are in the NFL for a long time. Yeah. So they were in the NFL at a time, at a time when players weren't as uh, in control as they are now. Yeah. It used to be, like, you know... Like, Bill Parcells could tell Lawrence Taylor to shut up in the huddle. Mm-hmm. Lawrence Taylor was the greatest defensive player of all time. Like, and you, a little crazy. You damn near can't even tell, like, a rookie to, like, shut up. Like, yeah. uh, um, what's it? Urban Meyer, who's an old school coach, got in trouble for, like, <laughs> berating his kicker. <laughs> he got in trouble, bro. <laughs> he told him to kick better and kick him. <laughs> and he kicked him. He told him how to kick. <laughs> Dude, hey, I respect. Hey, you, you know you held your the kicker. I'm talking about yeah. like you held you held it down. But bro, there's a lot of shit. Like a coach can hit me in the helmet. And I could be like I could think about it, and then like man, like maybe I'll be like I respond. But like, I'm thinking about the position I'm in. Uh, coach could push me, and I'd be like man, like maybe like I'm like damn, I'm making a lot of money. I can't ruin it. But kick, <laughs> you didn't have the audacity to, to use your hands. Yeah, yeah, you kicked me, bro. Like I'm dirt. When you kick somebody, like if getting I, kicked as a kicker is crazy too. Yeah, and that's wild as fuck. <laughs> if I punch you, it's a sign of respect yeah. because that means that I'm trying to disable you because I think that you are a great opponent. Yeah, like anybody you do that to, whether whether you want to lie or not. If you because you're a threat, right? Because you're a threat. Like I'm trying to put you down. Right, if you kick someone, you're saying you're not a threat, bro. Like, this kick just, is not gonna knock you out. It's not gonna knock you out. It's not gonna disable you. I know that you're not gonna do anything back to me. That's why I'm kicking you like this. And that's why getting getting smacked in the back of the head is way more offensive yeah. than getting swung on. Cause it's just like the, you thought I wasn't gonna do nothing. The worst part is probably didn't even kick him hard either. Like it wasn't even like a you weren't even kicking me to like hurt me you yeah. just like tap me like hey bro like you a punk like, <laughs> like, like get your shit together it's like bullying no nah, like, that's crazy that is crazy as hell <laughs> but hell no <nah. laughs> so it's been this new sickness mm-hmm. monkey pox going around <laughs> yeah what <laughs> you said new sickness it's new i mean it's, it's old sickness but it's yeah yeah but i'm saying it's, it's like back. it's back yeah, but yeah. it's new right now Shut your ass up. So, <laughs> so monkeypox, I don't even know what it is. Um, it's a sickness. I think it's just another pox, like chicken. Oh, it's a pox, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you get boils on your face. So, yeah. so they're way bigger. And actually, I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but you can actually see people who have monkeypox. Correct. I think I think that's the best thing about that. <laughs> that's, yeah. the best. that's the best thing about the disease. Because that's the reason like, why like COVID and stuff is so dangerous. Because... You can't really. You don't know, know who has it. Yeah, yeah. They, there's no look to it. The person don't even gotta be sick. Yeah. <laughs> but you got that monkey pox. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna you're gonna definitely be seen as like you know. But they the thing though at first I didn't understand it. What? They just pointing at me too, a little bit too. No, high. no, no. My bad. <laughs> at first I thought it was a weird a, a weird rule at first or a weird recommendation. 
so it said um uh people who have sex with the same sex well that's that was a kind of a people with like gay people right can are should be first in line for like the the vaccine and stuff like that and i was like that's kind of weird but then i didn't know how it could get transmitted through uh same sex same sex sex intercourse or same sex intercourse so I'm you can get monkey monkey pox from like same sex intercourse that's that's dumb why wouldn't you be able to get it from any intercourse I don't know, but that's the. I think that's a rumor. No, it's not a rumor. It's, it's fact. That's why they said because when I remember, I saw the recommendation that people. Have, nah, I think people that's who, false. Who, people who have same sex. What? <laughs> this bro thinks the lottery is rigged, but when the scientists say something, nah, it's literally it's literally a fact. Nah, I don't think that's a fact, bro. It, it is. Read it up. Go ahead. We'll give you some time. And it's excruciating stigma. Oh damn! <laughs> so that that Google okay, gave man. you every information you need to know. Oh, it's for men. Yeah, for men. Oh, I thought you were saying like that's what I was saying. Like I thought you were saying for anybody, and I was like that doesn't make sense. Bro, look at this dude trying to backtrack. Nah, I mean, I just, <laughs> but anyway, I just I, and, and I had to fact check you because you saying some wild shit. No, that's not that's wild. My money too, Mike. <laughs> bro that's not wild to canceled. say no it ain't wild you're right <laughs> because you're right it's not wild but imagine if that was false <laughs> and we just... that, that they said that uh people that have say like gay people can should be first in line men. to get the vaccine gay men yes should be it's, it's not even just gay men it's gay men who are sexually active with other gay men right yeah you said that already no no but it, some, some gay guys might not have sex all right I'm <laughs> just saying. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah, so they were first in line to get us. So I thought it was weird at first, but now I'm like, that makes sense. That was it. I mean, yeah, it definitely <laughs> makes sense. I don't know what else to talk about monkey if that's the biggest, if that's the biggest cause to it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. But with, uh, even with like other vaccines, I feel like the people there, the old people got it first because they're more affected by this. But getting monkey pox is crazy. How? I, I don't mean, know. Yeah, yeah. Just period. That's just a wild disease to have. It is. It's almost like just as wild. What was that one disease that only, I think like one person or three, like it was like less than five people in the U.S. It's like getting it. like, what's that thing? Polio? Polo? Po nah, it was the, the last sickness. Oh man, it was huge. Oh, Ebola. Ebola. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, remember people thought like, that's yeah. a wild. Yeah, e Ebola. What was it? What's now disease that was up, that was mm -hmm. up there? It's always a sickness. Going Why is around. it like? Yeah, that's crazy. Because it's always somebody that's doing some nasty shit, bro. That they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, like obviously some of the rumors about like other diseases, how they're being started, might not be true. But I guarantee you, every new disease that came about, somebody did it had to do something that's never been done before. Tested whether, some shit in the lab. Whether it was created in the lab or mm -hmm. whether it was like somebody doing something, like somebody like. You know, eating a different type of seaweed and getting the disease and then, you know, having intercourse with someone else. And they're just like, you just created something and we got to give it a name because it does this to people. Yeah. Like everywhere, somewhere started. Why is it called monkeypox? Or it's starting, I don't know. <laughs> it, it better be for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> called monkey. Well, that, well, that's the, 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 I said, why is it called? And it said, why is it called monkeypox? So people have been searching for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why do they call monkey pox monkey pox was discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of pox like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research despite the name monkey pox the source of the disease remains unknown however african rodents and non-human primates like monkeys that's kind of a, a weird thing non-human primates <laughs> Harbor the virus <laughs> and affect people. Oh, they gotta, they gotta actually say, "Hey, <laughs> now we saying just because it's in Africa, we calling them, yeah, <laughs> non-human primate." That's yeah, I've that's never, wild, bro. I've never heard that before. Whoever did that did not want to get canceled. They're like, hold on, <laughs> <laughs> this sound a little KKK-ish right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta hold on. Ulu, this doesn't make sense. Um, oh, let me just go. Let me go to this story first before I go to that one. So, a Brooklyn bishop who was robbed of one million dollars in, in jewelry alleged they stole ninety k from the con congregation. They, I saw the video. They, <laughs> they came in that he must have been flexing somewhere where he wasn't supposed to be flexing. Or do you think they stole it? He just had a million dollars in his house, and then they stole ninety thousand dollars from the church as well. 
So what is it? Oh, you saying that he has it? Oh, he set the whole thing up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now you on the conspiracy side. Let's yeah. go. Robbed for more than a million dollars in jewelry. A million dollars in jewelry. He thought he was on. They they must have been plotting on him for a while. You think he set this up? What pastor has a million dollars in jewelry? He, I think he's a real estate agent. He's really successful. So that means he can't be a pastor because he's a real estate agent. Yeah, he's always got some rules and shit. I don't think he's a real estate agent, is he? Yeah, he sells and flips houses. I saw, um, I saw his commercial. He got commercials out. We well, on to you, past uh, Bishop. And he got so you know what he does in his commercial? What he'll pull up in like a Rolls Royce or a Ferrari or something like that, and he'll have someone filming him getting out of the car, and he'll get to talking about like. That he's a real estate agent and he flips houses or something like that. And he's a pastor. He's a pastor. What? He's getting money on the side. Y'all act like and all pastors are supposed to be broke. Nah, but there's still a level of like. <laughs> of Joel rich... Osteen didn't even open his doors during Hurricane That's Katrina. That's what I say. Like, but that y'all on this pastor, go get Joel Osteen still got a church. No. Should have been to get down. <laughs> the, thing, the thing that's with these pastors, though, is like <laughs> they say give money to our church to make the church <laughs> I don't, it's like you're giving money to the church right mm -hmm. but these pastors are still benefiting from the church because they get tax-free money joe olsen has a private jet i'm not saying what people should do with their money but in terms of you're coming to church to get saved to hear the word and stuff like that and you're paying money for the church how do you determine how much the pastor gets paid? Yeah. I just think it's wild to like if a pastor. So let's say I'm a, I'm Joe Osteen, who's a billionaire, mm -hmm. right? Which I think he is. He, no, he probably he's close to it. So Joe not. Osteen's a billionaire, right? And you can look in your congregation as Joe <laughs> Osteen and you could like know, like I'm sure people like what I know, like about some of those churches, they let some people come up and testify. So somebody come up and testify like, Lord, I've been going through it. Like, you know, can't pay the bills this week, but I got to keep looking up. And I just paid the bills barely because God, he's always on time, blah, blah, blah. So Joe Olsen, you heard that story, right? Yeah. As a billionaire, I was like, damn, I'm glad she barely paid her bills. Yeah. All right, church over. Yeah. That's it. Like <laughs> what? You letting her walk out of your building and she barely could afford and she's here every day mm -hmm. she's putting a worship in every day and you ain't paying like that'd be wild as hell if he was like playing god yeah and he was like you keep praying sister it's gonna happen and then he secretly pay her bills and i don't know something happened and my bills have been paid my mom was conspiracy, always saying conspiracy. My, my mom was always saying one thing is always like she's like god doesn't need your money like in the sense of like god was never the type of person that needed a million dollars. That said, right? bring me or, money. Or Jesus Christ was never the person like that said. a collection plate. Yeah. <laughs> like what? It's like, like you, you built the church. Like how many damn stained glass <laughs> windows we need in this church? It's a business. Bro, when I was in Dallas, you know, it has so much space and stuff like that. I see big ass churches getting built. Like I was like, wow, that's a good business idea for a lot of people. It's like. If you're a rich person now, right, like have a lot of money, you have a friend that's a pastor, hey, I want to start this church and stuff like that. Of course, you're going to pour in money to that. You pour in money, now your money's tax-free and you make profit, pure profit. Of course, it's a business move. Tax-free, bro. <laughs> yeah. All they got to do is pay the utilities. Yeah. If I'm, if say, so if you're a, a, a damn near billionaire, right? And say, hey, I'm about to invest in this church. Church and prisons. <laughs> yeah. Invest in this church and it's tax free. Yeah, private prisons is something. That's another conversation. <laughs> Which is wild, bro. <laughs> like there's people out here looking for prisoners. So that makes you know that they're <laughs> just, creating prisoners, bro. That's just crazy. <laughs> bro, they're creating. Hey, we're kind of running low on people here. You got, you got... <laughs> Damn, bro. I need about five people. Get six three, six two. Can you go plant like five unlocked? Uh, Mercedes in the hood for me. We honestly, it's like the longest yard when he got Paul Crew in there. And yeah. Hey, we starting a football team. <laughs> I need as many football players. Like, yeah, let them run. Let them run. <laughs> you wonder when you running from the cops, you wonder why they timing you. 4-2, oh, we got to get him. <laughs> like, God damn. You know what a show always kind of rubbed me the wrong way? was uh, Remember that show, Bait Car? Oh, yeah. And when they set the, so they, for people that don't, Bait Car was a show where they would set a really nice car in, in like the hood, right? And they'll leave it like the door open, unlocked, or the car running. So then bait people into 
trying to steal the car. Yeah. And it always rubbed me the wrong ways because, like, you're, it's like, you're going to a place where people are kind of, like, not doing the greatest, right? Yeah. Low income area. Yeah. You put in a really nice car because you know they're, they might be desperate enough to try that, right? Mm. So it's like, some people would never steal if they were never presented that situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I would never try something crazy unless it was like put in front of me. Now that I have the thought of like, oh, I might try it because it looks so easy to try it. And that's what, and, and that's what is so dumb because that's what people that come from, like I come from Pontiac, which mm-hmm. is a lot of, there's a lot of lower income uh, people in Pontiac. People don't know like the lower income you are, the more that you look for uh, like this get out of jail free card, mm-hmm. this like one hitter that's going to get me out of here. Because that, cause it's too many hurdles to go over to, like, get out of here. Yeah. I got to either go over. I can either take this route where it's going to take me 15, 16 hurdles to get over. Or I can just jump over this big hurdle and wait for it and wait for my opportunity. And now they get to thinking it gets a little bit more desperate. It's just like, all right, now I got to take my opportunities. Damn, I ain't had an opportunity to get rich in two years. Yeah. Right? And I just see this Ferrari sitting here with a door wide open. <laughs> and I've never even seen a Ferrari before unless life. it was on fucking TV. Yeah. Bro, like the that's all like bro, the DEA, bro, like the DEA, uh, all those task force board, they that show just showed you what they've been doing, bro. Exactly. There was just a DEA on this on this podcast and he was just like what they used to do is just like they go to kids in the hood who 18, 19, you know, like they ain't in school no more. They looking for a come up. They selling like a little weed here and there. They not making enough money for ends meet. And they be like, hey, hey, man, they're seeing like undercover DA agents and the DA agents in the hood. They be black. And they're just like, hey, man, I know exactly where this lick at. Dude got 200,000. It's only one dude in there and he ain't got no gun. And they set them up, and the dudes are going there to a gun, and then be the, the police are already in there. Yeah. And just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's like, now I'm serving prison, and they got you on, like, camera recording, saying, like, how you going to do this? How you got to do that? And they not recording the parts that they said. Yeah. Like, they not telling you, like, how you got the gun. They literally giving you a stolen gun, and their fingerprints are wiped off of it. And as soon as you be like, hey, he gave me the gun, be like, ah, oh, dude lying, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't give him no gun. It's he say, he say with a cop. Yeah. That's crazy. It's he say, she said. And you're American and you didn't know that. What? Shut up. I'm saying I no, was no, just no, imagining no, no, no. the I'm guy was the guy. I'm just joking, bro. You do that to me. That's why. No, I don't, man. You said, he that was said, really me. You said, he said, he said. And I was like, and if I had said that, you'd have been like, you're not American. In other American news, though. <laughs> so other American news. <laughs> uh, Applebee's is releasing a line of flavored lip gloss. Would you like to know what flavors these lip glosses are? Yeah, sure. All right. Honey barbecue. Sweet chili kiss. And get me hot bu- buffalo. <laughs> get me hot buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> At least they be honest. What's the uh, what's wrong with that? Get me hot? No. The flavor of lip gloss. Oh, this lip gloss. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> My dumb ass. I'm like, damn, these sound like some fire ass wings. What's wrong? <laughs> this lip gloss? Yeah. Yeah. People are nasty as hell. <laughs> like, that's the worst. Like, even like you eat something good, like some garlic parm wings, you <laughs> after you're mad that it's still on your breath. You're yeah. like, I gotta get this off. I gotta go wash my face, brush my teeth. So just to like do that shit on purpose, I feel like any food flavored scents or anything is just should be forbidden. No, it shouldn't be forbidden. It's nasty. Don't get me wrong. I would never do it. That's Name not my scent. style. No, no, no. Listen, that's not my style. But anytime something's created, there's a calling for it. People want it. I, I, I swear, people didn't want this. I promise you, <laughs> no. it might not. Listen. <laughs> Listen, 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 bro. This is let me th- before you say it. This is exactly who you are, and you're the person in that marketing meeting. This is what, exactly what you're gonna yeah, say. I, hey, Go ahead, listen, say what you say. Listen, don't give up on this idea, boys. <laughs> I know it seemed crazy, <laughs> but I just interviewed somebody in Vegas. It's a homeless dude. <laughs> He said he would love this shit. <laughs> we got to go through, please. <laughs> what would you want the name of the lip gloss to be? <laughs> Too hot to handle buffalo. <laughs> Make it happen. Listen, get me hot. Yeah, get me hot. Wait, what flavor is that even? 
Don't, don't worry matter. about don't it. Don't worry about that shit. <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs> Get and me hot. I hate flavors that never tell you or scents that never tell you the, the actual, like, where the scent derives from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish, no, I, what I wish, like, obviously, I'm not like a, you're, you're, you're a better candle person than I am. Mm. So, you know, like, the different type of candles, like, uh, lavender, yeah. um, mint or whatever you know new stuff they come up with i wish there was like some like uh black interpretation of it (laughs) like some dumbed down not dumbed down but like like talk to me like we regular (laughs) lavender like bro listen you know when you first walk into your grandma bedroom (laughs) and she just sprayed some cologne like yeah it's gonna smell like that yeah damn what this one gonna smell like you know when in like you feel like you got (laughs) Imagine you got a coconut in your hand. You're drinking out of a coconut. Okay. Don't you hate when people... Ex- once you hate when people explain something with no words and just be like, you know, <laughs> at the end of it. So they'd be like, uh-huh. they'd be like, uh, all right, bro, you know that other thing of like... Eh, eh. Yeah, you know what? You know what I mean, right? It's just like, bro, say your words. How My, am I supposed no, to know? <laughs> that shit is annoying when people try to think that you already know their... <laughs> Their language, yeah. uh, their their body expression. Yeah. One time, my cousin, who I don't hang out with that often. Damn. No, I'm just saying we don't uh, see each other. I, like, I thought you meant he like you didn't a fuck with him. cousin. He like one of them cousins like that I grew up with yeah. that I don't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really saw. Like he lives in. All right, we don't care, bro. Oh uh, no, this, this is my guy. Though. <laughs> <laughs> out there. He lives in Texas, whatever. So I don't like being mean. That shit's not good. Yeah, it's not good for your soul. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> I be feeling bad like that. <laughs> Go but ahead. no, it was my and we was at like this. Uh, his his uh, our aunt had cooked both our aunts. So <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> to see like you're struggling. I was. <laughs> I am struggling. I'm trying to remember. All my all. Okay, so it was my cousin uh, and. I was about to eat the food that my aunt just cooked, mm-hmm. and he looked at me and said, "Hey, yes sir, <laughs> yes sir." And I'm like, "Oh, this shit fire!" Ooh, and ate it, almost threw up. The turkey was like cold, and then he was like, "Bro, I was trying to tell you, she don't be warming her food up like that." Yeah. Like the fuck? <laughs> you saying, "Yes sir"? <laughs> fuck wrong with dude? Hey, it could be a different interpretation. You talking about some yes, sir? <laughs> like what? Like that's go to me. <laughs> it must be green or something. <laughs> like what the? What is yes, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> like imagine somebody doing that, bro. <laughs> you about to drive into a dead end? Everybody, like, hey, yes, sir. <laughs> You're like damn. Wouldn't that even become a thing? Yes, sir. <laughs> Probably somebody and probably disrespectful. Like call people sorry. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about the the pink sauce lady? Uh, I heard. I saw some pictures. So there's a lady. I, this is when I. It's always weird to me when people see stuff blowing up on TikTok. Sometimes I never see it. Like I heard about the pink sauce lady after there was a controversy. So there's a pink sauce lady, which is pretty much just it's just a trendy whatever type of sauce. It could be mayonnaise for all I know, but she just dyes it pink so they put it on anything right but people were saying that you shouldn't um buy food from people on the internet and she was like uh or it's not fda certified and she was on instagram saying this doesn't have any um this is not any health benefits and stuff like that this doesn't have any health benefits i don't know why people say i need to get fda certified and if people know fda stands for food Food and Drug Administration. Right? Yeah. So, but she's talking about medical reasons. She's thinking that FDA. She doesn't know what FDA stands for. And she's selling food on the internet. Yeah, everything is not um, approved by the FDA that people use. Yeah, but I'm saying FDA has nothing to do with cause like uh, the food department, the food that she's uh, serving. I mean, FDA has everything to do with the food she's serving. Right. She's thinking it's something else they're talking about. Oh, she's trying to. Say she doesn't like, know the F and food. Uh, FDA yeah, it's like that's food. official. Like if FDA don't stamp your shit. It's gonna be hard to sell. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I didn't say there was any health benefits. I'm like, huh? <laughs> that's the wrong. De- that's just the, the wrong department for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. The sauce look. I just wouldn't buy anything that looks like that. Yeah, like that's wild. And is it sweet? I don't know. <laughs> you like, just asked me like I bought it. 
I, I would never buy food from anybody on the internet. No, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. Like, I need I, you. Like, I've been seeing on Facebook Marketplace that they be selling, like, some people be, like, selling little uh, empanadas and shit like that. It should be looking good, but I'm like, bro. Nah, I just came by, like, oh, come get a plate. We're at my house. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And, like, the place be looking fire. And, yeah. like, they overserve because they're trying to get customers. But I just can't do it. Like, I don't know what's, like, Nobody approves you. You don't have like a restaurant thing that yeah. says like you got an A here. Yeah. Like at least let me look at that. You got your house and I gotta go off like with your cousin say. <laughs> yeah, facts. Her shit fire. She clean though, bro. We, uh you, you today there, Today, July thirty first is the Jetsons birthday. The Jetsons? Yeah. Like Who? the cartoon. Oh, I don't give a fuck. No, but the the funny thing though, they're in twenty twenty two. They were born today. Oh <laughs> wait, what? The Jetson. It, it was based in 2022? Based in July. The the birthday of one of the Jetsons, July 31st, 2022. So it was based in 2022. Uh, more and further than 2022. Oh, and we got flying cars. Yeah, so. yeah we way behind. <laughs> we we be, behind. Yeah. No, we got everything. Like, people don't even realize, like, the obvious the, how far technology is coming because mm -hmm. remember we used to watch i used to watch like the spy kids movie yeah and i was like one of the first movies where they started like looking into stuff to get into rooms mm -hmm. so I, it took facial recognition to get into somewhere yeah and i'm just like oh that's the iphone like we actually have that stuff mm -hmm. we actually have like the eyeball reader and yeah. stuff like that so it's just like it's crazy like the stuff that was in movies <laughs> This is back to my conspiracy stuff. The stuff that was in movies before, a lot of it is true now. Like, there is a flying car. Yeah, you can fly cars, yeah. You can fly cars, technically. Mm -hmm. So, again, what was in movies back then, which was like, oh, this is fiction. This is made up. All of a sudden, it's true. Now we're not supposed to believe what's in the movies now. This is not fictional. Because where are they getting it from? Ain't nobody that creative. <laughs> try to think of something Sorry, try to think of something nobody's ever done before go i mean if i do that then i, I want to create it go there's still stuff there's no i don't think anybody is creating anything new i think nah re it's there it's i think just they're reinventing the wheel huh it's just re everybody just reinventing nah, the, wheel the wheel was already the aliens helped us out they did <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> oh boy I swear conspiracy theorists hey we hey that's what we yeah that's the name of the title yeah yeah conspiracy theorists all right, I got a question for you. Now I got it. Man, why I looked that up? All right, I got a question for you. Okay. Would you rather be able to rewind five minutes or look into the future five minutes? Mm. I'd rather look into the future for sure for five minutes. What would you do with that? I would have won the Powerball. No, because you got to be done. At, I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> so you don't know shit. All you're doing is getting the information like, oh, shit, I lost. You know you lost earlier than everybody. Uh, I would, I would, uh, I don't know. I feel like different things. I There's, you know, there's one little thing in your life that can change your life forever. So those little moments. Yeah. I would use it for those special moments. Right. What if you <laughs> never have it again? <laughs> but you can definitely go on game shows and win a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely game do that. Game shows, any guessing shows. You technically be the smartest person in the world. Yeah. Nobody could ever ask you a question. That you don't know the answer If you to. get it wrong. Wait. When you just rewind, though? Damn, it's the same thing. <laughs> I think it is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it got to be the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's the same because you know it's gonna happen. No, you missing the time. No, if it happens and you can rewind, but now since you rewind, you then know what happens in the future. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you said. It sound like bullshit. <laughs> you hey, might what? be right, but hey, I just can't believe whatever you said. I don't even know if you're right or not. You could be totally right, uh, but I can't agree with it just for camera purposes, yeah. just in case. <laughs> I was done thinking about it. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, but in your mind, just like, you about to think about it in your mind, like, uh uh, be too tired. Yeah, that's when you asked me those numbers stuff earlier. I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm not about to do all that math in my head. Hell nah. Oh, shit. Ain't nobody about to think that hard. Anyway, so we probably can end it on that. <laughs> oh, damn. Y'all still here? <laughs> anyway, it's been episode 57. Thank you for listening to Crash Dummies podcast. Our TikTok was tweaking for the past, or it's probably still tweaking. Instagram is, I mean, TikTok's kind of been uh, 
on some other shit with us, so they've been suppressing our stuff. Yeah. But so so go there and you know do what you gotta do, like and comment and stuff like that. And hey, keep reposting the videos. We like when y'all um add us on Instagram. When y'all give us questions on Instagram, sometimes it turn into content. Yeah. Um, just just keep at it, bro. Y'all actually the fuel for all this. Except the <laughs> not just like y'all got it this episode. Go off. All right. This is episode 57. Peace. Punk ass dudes. <laughs>